us is Father Adam Bradshaw, and our Saint of the Week is Saint John Nauman. Now, not to be confused with Saint John Henry Cardinal Newman, a great saint, really well-known saint uh, in England during the Oxford Movement, but Saint John Nauman. Uh, what's great about the saint is that he's one of our own here in the United States, one of the uh, numbered of United States uh, saints that we can claim as our own. So very special uh, for us as citizens of this country uh, to have him. Uh, well, he was originally born in Czechoslovakia, and crazy thing, he studied to be a priest and was getting ready to be a pre ordained a priest, but there was a pause in ordinations because they had way too many priests in the country. So he actually had to send letters to other dioceses. Um, he was pretty proficient in English, so he was sending them to the United States and such, where he did get uh, approved to come. So he traveled out here and eventually was ordained a priest for the Diocese of New York. And he was a very, very, very intelligent man. Uh, I read he knew about 12 languages by the time he died. And, and that became very useful because he uh, worked with a lot of immigrants. This was a time of great surge of immigrants in the country. Um, so he was able to converse in Italian, German, English, um, French, and so on. <clears throat> he was very beloved by his community and, and was well known for traveling a lot, a lot. And he would go on these very, very long distances, very long, arduous journeys uh, to help you know, rural people and all that stuff. Um, last 10 years of her life, or so of his life, he was main, named Bishop of Philadelphia, actually the fourth Bishop of Philadelphia, and he did many incredible things. He started the 40 Hours Devotion uh, here in the country. He established some religious congregations of religious women. Um, he started the modern parochial school system. So when he became Bishop, there was one Catholic school. When he died, there were 200 Catholic schools over 10 years, about 10 years of, uh, uh, of his episcopacy. And just, uh, again, would, would visit a lot of his flock. And he had died in the year 1860 of exhaustion. You know, he was doing errands and he was walking down the street and, and he just collapsed. He actually uh, died before a priest could get there to give him his last rites. Very beloved saint, uh, very well-loved intellectual. Again, he spoke many languages, had a uh, very well-known for his great sanctity. And now his body less, ra uh, lays in a tomb there in the di Archdiocese of Philadelphia uh, where it's behind glass and the altar is right above his body. So you see right under the altar, his body lay there in his uh, bishop vestments and everything. So really great saint, and again, uh, very nice for us as Americans here because he's numbered among our American Catholics. And so we pray especially for him that more saints too can ri uh, arise out of our country, and God willing, here in our own parish. So just to remind you that this could be you.